Fear not, Scranton. This is Pastor Elliot Cook of Jackson Street Baptist Church here in Scranton, Pennsylvania, to remind you yet again that God has not abandoned us. He has not forsaken us. We have the opportunity to come before him and to to realize that he is closer than ever to each and every single one of us. He loves us intently. He loved us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. And if he did that, then he is not going to abandon us in our great time of need that we find ourselves in this pandemic that might have you a little bit afraid. And I've been coming on with these videos to remind you of God's precious words and his hopes and been doing this for, oh my goodness, how long has it been? Two, two and a half months? It's been a while. It's been a while and we're getting tired of it. I, I understand that. I'm going to be transitioning to um, more of a helpful message for us to re-engage. It won't just be um, relating to times of trial or struggle. For instance, uh, today I thought in Matthew chapter 4 I would take you to show you that Jesus, uh, how he defeated temptations uh, that came his way. When we re-engage and get back to our regular lives, there's some uh, opportunities for Satan to try to get us to re-engage in our old ways, our old habits, our old sins. And how can you defeat this? How can you stay strong with this new life that you have found in Christ? Well, let's take a look at Jesus' example. In Matthew chapter 4, when Jesus was uh, led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil... And after fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. No kidding. Uh, the tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. And Jesus answered, It is, it is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. He once, uh, after 40 days, of course he's going to be hungry. And what does the devil tempt him with? That which he desires most. What is it that you desire most? What is it that Satan's going to tempt you with? Uh, will you have a retort? Will you have a prepared remark for that time of testing, for that temptation when it comes your way? Uh, Jesus knew uh, that he was going to be tempted, uh, so he was prepared. He had meditated and prayed for strength uh, for the temptation for 40 days. And so when the devil tempted him to turn the stones into bread, he says, man does not live by bread alone. It's so important to live on the word of God. Um, then the devil took him to a high, to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point in the temple. If you are the son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up on their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered him, it is written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Uh, if you are, if you are, uh, is is what uh, the devil likes to say. If you want to have fun, if you want to get away with it, if you if you need that release, don't listen to that if clause that the devil throws at you. Once again, Jesus uses scripture, and he says, uh, it is written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. How well do you know God's word? I would encourage you to be studying it, to be preparing uh, for these trials, for these temptations. If you hide God's word in your heart, you will be better equipped not to sin against God. You want to know how to defeat temptation? The word of God is is key and crucial part of that uh, formula to do so. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their splendor. All this I will give to you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Little did the devil know and understand that Jesus had all these uh, kingdoms and, and the entire world was his. So he's tempting him with something that he knows is already his in the first place. But Jesus says, away from me, Satan, for it is written. Do you hear this? The third time, the third temptation, he again uses scripture, for it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him, and the angels came and attended to him, we're told. A great passage of scripture. You want to know how to defeat temptation? I would encourage you to get into God's word. 
every day. Read a little passage. How long did that take? We're, le- we're at five minutes here. And, and I've done a lot of talking. Just to read the passage probably takes 30 seconds, you know, to meditate on it, to think about it, and say a little prayer. That's all it takes to have your devotions, your meditations in God's Word. And He will feed your soul and help you to stand in that time of testing. You know, these are difficult times. And perhaps you've already been tested. Um, I got news for you. You're going to be tested your whole life long. The devil has not given up, but God hasn't given up either. And His Word is sufficient. Uh, His truth is powerful, and all you have to do is is get a little more familiar with it. You don't have to know the entire Bible, and you don't have to have all the answers. I don't have all the answers. I'm a pastor. I've read through this this book dozens of times and uh, went to seminary and and did studies in the original Greek and Hebrew, and, and I still don't have all the answers, but I know the one who knows all the answers, and I trust in him. And I believe his promises, and I search for his truth and try to apply it in my life. Are you doing that? I pray that you are. If you're logging in, you're catching these videos, uh, perhaps you've been encouraged with the evangelistic good news of the gospel that I've been preaching to Scranton. Uh, Once again, trying to to take a slightly different tact. Yes, the gospel's still going to be important to, to my messages to you all, but I want you to to live on a higher plane. I want you to excel. I want you to to have the power of God in your life. I want to see you uh, thrive in life and in your Christian walk with the Lord. And so I encourage you to get into the Word. doesn't matter. Any Bible will do. Um, I would encourage you to, to get one. If you don't have one, write a comment down below. We'll make sure you get one. If you have questions, if you don't understand things, you can always ask. And we will share with you what understanding we have. And together we can come to to understand God's Word. You can share with us. We can learn. You can grow too. It's a two-way street. Start that relationship down below. Perhaps you have the need for baptism. Perhaps you have the need to pray that prayer, the sinner's prayer. Why don't, why don't I lead you through that yet again? Uh, let's, let's pray together. If you have the need for forgiveness, to trust in Jesus for the very first time, for it only takes once, you don't have to keep praying this prayer. Uh, if you mean it the first time, you never have to pray it again because God uh, has committed himself to you to forgive you of your sins and to make Jesus' blood count for your very own. Well, let's pray that prayer. Heavenly Father, we do come before you now and pray that you would grant faith to the soul who needs you right now. And in this moment, if this is your need, then pray these words. God, I am a sinner. I need forgiveness. I I understand that the wages of sin is death, eternal death and separation from you for all eternity. But I also believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sin. Come into my life, make me a new creature, and help me, Father, to withstand the temptations of life, uh, to choose a new course, a new direction, uh, a way that I can please you more, uh, a way that I might be more like Jesus, perfect and complete, not lacking in anything, one day. Until then, uh, be with me and help me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You pray a prayer like that or some words, something similar to that, God knows. He knows your heart. He knows your attitude. He knows that you're trying to surrender to him. If you draw near to God, he will draw near to you and will reveal himself to you in his word. So get into the book. We're people of the book after all. Christians means little Christ and the Bible or the gospel Um means the good book. You know, we're we're sharing this good news uh, with you every time we we have one of these videos. So fear not, Scranton, and remember that the Lord is with you, and he will bring you through. Uh, Do your part, and once again, if you appreciate these messages, like and share them with your friends. Um, We'd appreciate that too, and and engage with us down below. It helps us know that, that the ministry is accomplishing something. God bless you. Have a good day.